Hi, welcome to week three. I'm Amy Walker, Business Mastery One, and today we are talking about your brand. Your brand and business is one of your most valuable resources. This is what you're known by. This is how your company makes sense to other people. Your brand encompasses everything from your graphics to your core messaging to uh, the way that you represent yourself to clients to even things like what you stand for, your company values. All of that is a part of your brand. And I want you to think for just a minute about big brands. Okay, let's think about big brands. Let's think about Coca-Cola, for example. When you hear the word Coca-Cola, you see their logo inside of your mind. You picture their ads. Their ads are very Americana, very uh, get back to your roots, Sim life is simple, have fun with a friend. It's, uh, they've been recently kind of revamping their brand is young, you know, with the um, each Coke has its own name on it. And they've got the party commercials. They even have a certain type of filtering that they use in their videography and and all of that is a part of their brand so that's their brand today their brand has evolved over time now think about coca-cola when you were younger i remember when i was younger it was uh the world you know and you'd have all these people coming together from all of these different um places around the world and they can share a coke together and and then we have world peace and so that was more their brand there so there's parts of your brand that are really not going to evolve a ton one of the things that i want you to do is i want you to actually look at coca-cola's logos throughout the years and i want you to look at some of their um commercials and things that throughout the years and watch for what has remained the same and what has changed your brand is going to evolve as you grow and evolve and it's important to understand that the work that we do here is to create our goal is to create a brand that gives you room to grow but is also clearly defined enough that people understand it if people are confused about what you do it's harder for them to buy into you does that make sense so as we talk about branding, this section is going to be a lot of little sections that will give you a whole encompassing brand. We're going to work on your unique selling position. We're going to talk about logos and graphics. We're going to talk about core messaging. You're going to do a brand brief worksheet. And you're also going to make the decision of, if you haven't already, how to name your brand. And so you're going to be working a lot on this idea of the brand. I will warn you in advance that this is a week that you feel like it just takes a lot of introspection. A lot of it is thinking. A lot of it is making decisions, deciding who you want to be and how you want to be known. It's a week that's very easy to get stuck on, and I challenge you, don't get stuck. And here's what I mean by that. It's very, I mean, you could spend months and months and months deciding on the perfect name and the perfect logo and the perfect this and that, and it doesn't have to take you that long. When I named Amy Walker Consulting, I was really pregnant. I was like six weeks away from having my fifth baby. I was stressed. I had so much to do, and naming my company was like the last thing on my mind. And so when I went to go fill out papers with the lawyer, he's like, so what are you naming your business? I'm like... I don't know, I was thinking Amy Walker Consulting. He said, that makes sense. People at least will know what it means. And I wrote it down and I started my business and it was a name that I put very little thought into. Very little thought into. Now, very fortunately for me, I actually, my domain name, Amy Walker Consulting, was available. And so that was good. Make sure your domain's available before you name everything and you can't, you know, purchase an online website. But I'm just trying to point out that it doesn't have to be something that takes you a long, long time. You can get started and you can rebrand as you go as well. So my first brand that I built was Balancing Amy Walker Consulting, Balancing Business and Family. And that was my brand. And my logo had these four squares in it that um, were, represented the four core areas of your life. And my brand was all based around just balancing business and family, supporting moms who want to do business. 
And as I evolved and as I grew, I realized I was outgrowing that brand. And so I rebranded and I rebranded more business focused that I really wanted to work with higher level entrepreneurs who were serious about their business, not just wanting to dabble as a mommy who wants to make a little money on the side. I wanted more serious business owners. So I rebranded. I have a friend right now that is going through a rebrand where she's been branded according to her name for three, four years in business, has built a million dollar business, and now she's realizing she wants to rebrand, and so she's rebranded to a, a new business name. So in this area, I'm, I'm sharing this with you, not so you can be lazy, okay? I don't want you to be lazy. You need to find a good brand that fits for now. I just don't want you to put so much pressure on it that you feel like you can't move forward until angels from heaven come down and tell you this is the name of your business and this is how you should brand. We're not going to wait for that. We're going to get moving. I do want you to find a brand that feels comfortable to you that you can wear for a while. Think of it like a great pair of jeans. You know, you're going to it's you're going to wear it a lot. Your, your favorite pair of jeans is probably your most worn article of clothing, so you want a really good pair. That's what we're shooting for. Not a pair of jeans that you're going to wear for the rest of your life till the day you die, but something you can wear for a while and feel really comfortable in that looks good on you and makes sense for you. So this is a fun week. You get to be creative. You get to think about who you want to be, how you want to be known. If you already have an existing brand, this is your time to tighten it up. Because just because it makes sense to you doesn't mean you're effectively communicating that to everyone. I was at a retreat one time where we were reviewing each other's websites and um, this company put up their web page and then we all went and said, you know, three words that it, it spoke to us and they had their three words that they wanted it to speak and their words were like family and peace and natural and the words that they got were like dark, creepy, um, intimidating. I mean, their brand was not conveying what they wanted it to say. So this is a chance for you either to build the new brand or it's a chance for you to establish and tighten up the brand that you already have. So it's going to be a fun week. Get ready to get creative. And this is a great week to get feedback from all of us on the Facebook group. Can't wait to see you there.